There are loud people at work, often females. <laughs> yeah. Who try to take control and boss people around. Yeah. However, I'm a quiet guy who's not interested in workplace politics and trying to wrestle power away from them. Is it kingly just to let them continue or should I try to take control? You are on the right path, Patrick. Do not engage. Do not engage because that's when they can usurp your power. You know, there's this, there's a saying once uh, I heard that he who speaks less controls the conversation. He's who, he who speaks less is actually the one that's in control because everybody's wondering what he's thinking. Everybody's wondering what he's doing. Keep to yourself the best place that you can, the best way that you can. If they're making noise, go to the next room and continue doing your work if you can do that. Often females, bro, I got three daughters and two of my daughters, are, we call them the tornadoes, the twin tornadoes when they come downstairs. And my, my middle daughter, she's not, she's not a tornado. She's just, but you know, the other ones are. And I like to do a lot of my work in the kitchen. And if I'm on my computer and I'm, I'm doing my work, They'll come down and they'll start whirlwinding. Woo, usually around lunchtime now, the kids homeschool. They're coming in, whirlwinding, they're making noise, they're laughing, they're doing stuff, they're smashing shit. They're just making a whole lot of freaking noise. It's not a power grab, they're just being loud girls. Um, and I just pick up my computer and I walk, I walk out the room. I just go somewhere else. And they're always interested in what dad's doing when as soon as i do that all the attention goes to me because i just urge up the power i just be, by being quiet and walking away i just showed that i'm in charge you're you're not going to disrupt me <laughs> i'm i'm very busy right now and you're wasting my time and so i'm going away now <laughs> right that's the power move the power move is to go away now i'm going away now right um, they're going to want to drag you into their, into their garbage too. She said they try to take control and boss people around, but they can't do that to you if you leave. And, and one of the things that's going to happen, might happen, is they'll start to resent you as a result. They may come, they may come and attack you, these women. They're crazy. They may come and attack you because they resent the fact that you don't let them earth up your power. You maintain, you keep, you maintain your frame. That's what you're doing. You're maintaining your frame. And the only way that they can, just like demons, you know, if you, if you listen to my lesson on demons, thou shalt stop, uh, it was the second semester. The only way demons can infiltrate is if you engage with them. And they will try to engage you. You don't engage them. You don't engage demons. You walk away from them. You turn your back on them. You say, get behind me, Satan. Right? And what you're going to do with these women, you're going to get them behind you. You're going to try to engage and you just get them behind you because there's no value in it. As you said, you have no interest in trying to wrestle power away from you. You, have no, you don't want to be involved in their power plays. There's nothing that they can, and, and if that's the case, there's nothing they can give you. There's nothing that they can do for you. So just go away, <laughs> right? Just go away. Yeah. If you, if you, if you engage with them, they might trick you into a battle. They might trick you into a battle, and you don't want that. You don't want to get tricked into a confrontation with them <laughs> it's the worst you got it patrick i'm happy that was helpful man yeah you're doing the right thing just ignore them right here's a helpful one also and you know not something that comes naturally to me um and i've heard it said in a, in a few different ways over the past couple of days you know different memes and, and videos i've watched but it's okay to let people not like you <laughs> right it's okay to and here's the way I, I i saw it first it's okay to allow people to uh misunderstand you it's okay that they don't understand you it's okay that people misunderstand you it's okay that people are wrong about you this was huge it's okay that 
people are wrong about you or they say something that's wrong about you, don't feel like you need to defend yourself. That's huge, man. Let people be wrong about you. You don't need to defend yourself. I've heard this in its various forms about three times in the past week. And I think it's like just a message to me. Let people be wrong about you. <laughs> it's all right. You got it. Yeah, Patrick, ultimate job is, is ultimate goal is to have a non-job. Yeah. <laughs> so you could be like me and only talk to people when you want to. <laughs> right? I only talk to you guys. I don't talk to anybody else. And I talk to my to Chris. That's it. And we talk on the phone like once a week. And that's it. I don't deal with anybody. I got a world win of girls in my house already. I don't want to go deal with, with fat middle-aged ladies at the office. Screw that. Yo, it's your bro Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation coaching students where among many things we get together about four or five hours a week where we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives in fitness business and with women and if you want to join a like-minded group of men that get together every day to grow stronger in every way during this degenerate age it's real simple just follow me on instagram and then dm me the word king k-i-n-g and then me or one of my teammates will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I really hope to see you perhaps at our next live call. Done.